Oh, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Dom One, and I am Brock with another video. I normally don't do gaming news, but I, but considering the news I'm about to drop, and it dropped last week coming from the Sony camp, uh, I just had to do a video on this channel considering talking about the PlayStation 5. The biggest bombshell about the PlayStation 5 is it's going to be released 2020 next holiday season, okay? So, PlayStation, I mean, Sony is going to ride the wave of this hype from now to E3 until until the holiday season when the PlayStation 5 is actually released, okay? I think they got to jump ahead of the competition. Uh, Microsoft never uh, talked about when they were going to drop the next Xbox. Uh, when you talk about Nintendo, they just recently dropped the Nintendo Switch. Now they got the Nintendo Switch Lite. So they're not in no hurry to make another console, particularly since the Nintendo Switch is doing so well. OK, so they got to they got to jump ahead of the competition with their announcement of the next gen in console. So they're the first doing that. Now, also, there was some other tidbits uh, in this news uh, that they dropped last week. Uh, the controller, the controller is going to be uh, traditionally the dual shock controller. Uh, when you look at the body of it, it, it never changed. It stayed consistent from the one, two, three, four. They said uh, with the five, you're going to see some uh, some differences from the DualShock 5 controller, from the DualShock, from the previous DualShock controllers. One of the advantages of the DualShock 5 controller is the vibration, how the controller vibrates. Now, uh, here's a small fun fact. Uh, when the PlayStation 3 was released, the DualShock 3 did not have a rumble feature in the beginning stages of the PlayStation 3. Uh, after the, the PlayStation community complained about it, they eventually put the rumble feature in the PlayStation 3. So that's a fun fact right there, okay? But let's get back into the PlayStation 5. Depending on the activity that you're doing uh, with your controller when you're playing your video games, if you're playing Madden, you're getting ready to tackle somebody, if you're uh, playing a race car game and your car slams into the wall, uh, when you accelerate, when you're walking through the snow, when you're walking through the mud, when you pull back on a bow, when you're getting ready to release your arrow, uh, the way how you, uh, you know, load a gun, uh, there's going to be different vibrations and different feelings depending on what activity that you're doing with your controller. Now, a lot of people uh, want to draw similarities to the Xbox One X controller, how they have an impulse uh, trigger and how the vibration is different. I feel like this is going to be the next step uh, from PlayStation when, uh, you know, as far as the vibration and you're actually feeling what the character is going through depending on what activity that you're doing uh, in the video game world, okay? Uh, another thing they talked about is this, uh, this console is going to be supporting 8K. Now, uh, let's be realistic. Uh, I just think we just now gravitated to 4K. 4K televisions are, you know, they're, they're now affordable. Now everyone could afford a 4K television. That wasn't the case three, four years ago. It's the case now. Now, this, you know, every time a, a console is released, particularly PlayStation consoles, there's new technology released alongside of it. Uh, you know, uh, the Blu-ray was released with the PlayStation 3. Uh, you know, uh, the PlayStation 5 is going to support Blu-ray, but 8K is going to be supported by uh, the console as well. I don't see any games in its launch window that's going to be supporting 8K, and I really don't see any games that's going to... It's going, it's going to be a handful of games that's going to utilize the 8K technology, just like 4K on other consoles. Uh at the late the the later part of the console, after the console got, and I'm talking about Microsoft and Sony when they uh, when they came out with the Pro, when um, uh, Microsoft came out with the Xbox One X, it just now started 
to support a lot of 4K games, okay? And when I mean a lot, it's not a whole bunch of games, but it's 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 more games than what they had when the consoles were released uh, five or six years ago. And I feel like this pattern is going to uh, still stay consistent, still stay the, stay the same with supporting 8K, okay? But this uh, the console will support 8K. HDMI uh, cord, uh, you know, I said it has a Blu-ray player. This this console is also going to be supporting um, the ability to play your older games. Okay, uh, you know, uh, a lot of a, a lot of communities are clamoring for the ability to play your old games, but I'm at the conclusion where when you get a new console, you get it, you're getting the new console to play the new games. Uh, I just don't see a real huge desire or market for people who, you know, buy these new consoles and want to play their older games. No matter it's a PlayStation, if you got PlayStation 5, why are you playing PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 games? Uh, the same could be said for the Xbox One X. You got an Xbox One X, why do you want to uh, play older games from the 360 or the OG Xbox? You know, so uh, I feel like uh, Sony wants to sort of cover their bases. And, uh, you know, if people want to play older games with their newer consoles, so be it, okay? But I feel like not a lot of games are going to be in this lineup in the beginning when you talk about older games, okay? It's going to start small, and then if once they see a huge demand in it, then they will increase the library. Also, streaming. Streaming games. And this concept is starting to become a big thing for gamers and i feel like it's a it's a blessing but it's also a curse at the same time um you know now instead of you know uh, getting it from the store the microsoft store or the sony store or going to the retail outlets like walmart target and getting the hard uh, game start getting the hard disc copy now you can stream your games and i feel like uh, one, this is a two-part thing, and this is why I feel like streaming is, to me, is the beginning of the end for gamers when, uh, you know, because you're not going to be able to, f my first part is, the when you're streaming a game, it's not, the resolution is going to be weaker than buying the game from a, re buying the hard disk from a retail store, or, uh, you know, buying it from, the store itself microsoft or sony store so the resolution is not going to be good the frames per second is not going to be good and depending on your internet uh it, it, it when you're streaming a game it the you know the pixel count all that stuff starts to bug down a little bit so uh I think, you know, people are, you know, having the opportunity to stream games. I think this is going to be more so for the older games. If people want to play older games like PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games, then I see, then I can see a reason why people would, would like to have their game, have a, uh, a, a system or the availability to stream older games. But when it comes to these newer games, I feel like people are going to make the right choices, which is, you know, getting it from the store itself inside the console or just buying the disc at GameStop and uh, Target, Walmart, whatever. Also, I feel like streaming is going to cut in uh, the economic system for GameStop and mom and pop stores. A lot of mom and pop stores throughout the country are closing left to right. OK, uh, I just I just don't see when these new consoles come out, how these if the mom and pop stores that are left will still be standing. You know, now there's another way and another affordable way to get your games. And I feel like people who are not uh, who are not fully aware or, or understand streaming and uh, resolution and frames per second, they're going to be hyped and get onto this. But uh, I feel like ultimately this is going to really shut down what few mom and pop stores you have and it's going to bite into GameStop. If you've been you know, listening to the news, GameStop has you know, really suffered uh, in this gen, this gen alone. So when the next gen comes out, uh, man, 
the I just don't see uh, a lot of game. You're gonna be hearing reports of GameStop stores closing at a dramatic rate, and then ultimately GameStop is just going to shut down forever. Okay, so uh, be aware of that. If you have a lot of GameStop points, you better utilize them points because these GameStop stores are today, tomorrow is never promised for these GameStop stores. Okay, but that's my, uh, you know, my, my thing on the streaming thing. I feel like, and, and two, uh, another thing I don't like about streaming, you don't really have ownership with your game. You know, yes, it's bad enough right now. Even if you have the disc or you download it from the Microsoft store, the Sony store, whatever store, even on PC, uh, you know, whatever store, you technically you, you don't own the game, but uh, I feel like, you know, streaming, what if they go into another console and they uh, come with another streaming service that's not going to be comparable to the old streaming service. So they shut that streaming service down. And guess what? All those games that you are accustomed to playing, uh, you no longer can play those games. So you, you, you're at the mercy of the service. So if the service is surviving and striving, no problem, no big deal. But if they move into a different direction, they start closing uh, these services, then you're SOL, okay? So I want people to be aware, you know, even though we don't have a lot of, you know, when it comes, I feel like the best version of the disc, I mean, the best, the best, the best version of the game is the disc itself. You know, and then after that, get it from the store. But I feel like streaming is, is you know, I, I I have mixed feelings about that. So be wary of that, you know, if you're interested in streaming. Okay. Um, I also said uh, in my gaming channel, when everyone was, was complaining about The Last of Us 2 having no multiplayer, uh, I'm pretty much on the, I'm pretty much on this movement of, Yes, I don't think The Last of Us 2 will ever have a multiplayer for the PlayStation 4, but I do feel like it's going to ultimately have a multiplayer on the PlayStation 5. Why? A more powerful console, meaning they can uh, play with the game a little bit more and uh, release a multiplayer that's going to... Um, you know, do the things it won't to do. Well, do the things that Naughty Dog want the multiplayer to do. Uh, and with a more powerful, faster, uh, you know, system console, you'll probably be able to do that. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I've been on the fence saying I've been, I've been on this hype train. I mean, this train of, uh, yes, there's no multiplayer in the last of us two for the PlayStation four, but I feel like ultimately it's going to make its way to the PlayStation five. Okay. At a later date. Uh, so, uh, they also talk about the interface. The interface is going to be more basic and streamlined like the PlayStation 4. I feel like the PlayStation 4 interface was it, it was basic. It was easy to get to wherever you need to get to. It, it wasn't you, you didn't have to swing through a lot of pages or, uh, you know, you know, go through so many uh, uh, pages just to get to the page that you're looking for. Like with Microsoft, uh, the Xbox One, uh, the interface for the Xbox One, the Xbox One X. Uh, I feel like they're going to can. I feel like the interface is still going to be more so of what you've seen with the PlayStation 4. Uh, you know, uh, uh, and they also said a lot of games, you know, how you have to go into your menu and and you know check your status at your progression through the game uh check out what trophies you're able to get at a certain point you'll be able to do it in game where you don't we don't necessarily have to pause the game to to check your stats uh in your game so if you're a trophy a whore and you, you got to get these achievements you got to get these trophies you'll be able to still you'll be able to see them uh on uh, as as you know when, when you're playing through the game so uh, i feel like uh that's a a bonus for gamers low times and we talked about this on my gaming channel uh when place when sony came out with faster load times you're not gonna be you know in you know how games we like when you go to another part of the game you're you're experiencing a, a loading session and it's it, to me um in this 
in the experiences I have with the PlayStation 4, the load times was not that serious. It wasn't that long. It wasn't like it was five-minute load times where you can go wash your clothes, dry them, fold them, put them up, fix you a sandwich, see what's going on in, uh, uh, in the social media world and this that and the third it wasn't that extremely long on loading times i feel like people uh really don't understand that if you think uh today's consoles had lo a, a long loading time you should try to get your hands on a playstation 3 or a playstation 1 even or the original xbox where you kept experiencing loading times on every corner of the game where, wherever you move your character to so and it was extremely long but we had enough patience then uh you know i, I feel like this is more so for the millennials uh you know faster loading times where you can get to point a to point b like that uh you know but i feel like the loading time was was not that crucial or or serious in my opinion okay so that's all i got for today's uh show guys tell me what you think rate comment subscribe it's your boy i'm chris the Don one and i am out of here deuce